What's up guys? Welcome back to G3M Gaming. Today we're going to be making this fully automatic sugarcane farm that works in 1.16 on both Bedrock and Java. Let's get started. Hey, before we begin, if you like this tutorial during any part of it, please consider subscribing. We've still done subscribers recently, and it would be really helpful if you and other people would pick it back up. Of course, if you are subscribed. If you are subscribed, thank you. I really appreciate it. Now, let's get on with the video. So there, because you can make this as large as you want, there's not really a set amount of blocks or items you're going to need for each item you're going to use, so I'm just going to be telling you which items you're going to need. So you're going to need some sort, some form of blocks. I'm using s smooth stone. Pistons, not sticky pistons. Observers. Sugar cane, obviously. Hoppers so that your sugar cane can be collected and put in a chest, which also need some water so that you can have your sugar cane grow because it needs to grow next to water. A block to grow your sugar cane on, which in my case I'm using dirt, but you can also use sand or something similar if it works. I can't remember off the top of my head. Glass, this is technically optional, but I would highly recommend using it. Redstone, and torches. This is also optional, but if you put torches in your farm, it will grow during the nighttime as well. Also, this is where you need the redstone. I'm going to be showing you three different sizes to build this in, because I'm going to be building one column of this sugarcane farm. And I'll be showing you how to make one of these rows and then duplicating it on the other side. So to make one column for your sugarcane farm, uh, first you're going to break a block in the ground if your ground is made out of something that a sugar cane can grow on. You're going to place water in that hole, and then leaving a one block space in between with your block you're going to grow sugar cane on, you're going to place a building block of your choice with a piston on top, and then go around to the back, place an observer, place some smooth stone, get your redstone out, and place redstone there. And last year, I place your sugar cane, and that's how you make one column of it. Next, I'm going to be showing you how to make one row. First, to make one row, you want to make a 4 block by 11 block outline, like so. Then, in the back of your outline, you want to place a row of grass blocks. Uh, don't place one at the end there, because it won't be able to grow. And then, one below, you're going to put your stone stone blocks or whatever block you're using. Then, very similar to what we've been doing with that one column, you're going to build each of your columns just making eight of them. I'm going to skip this part because you already know how to do this. Okay. Then you want to build up on both sides like that, so it should look like this, and this on the back. Then place your water right here. If you did it right, it should stop right there. Next, you can place your sugar cane. Dig a two block trench there. Place a chest there going to shift down or crouch depending on what platform you're playing on and place two hoppers there I'm gonna place a smooth stone or whatever block you're using block above the second one and then I'm also gonna place one here so that we can expand this easier and that is one row done Next, I'm going to show you how to duplicate this on the other side. If you want to build that same outline, this time with a width of 9 blocks instead of 11, because you've already placed two here that you're going to need, if you've done the first row. Then you're going to build your actual farm rows again. 
I'm going to skip over this part again because you already know how to do it. Oh yeah, by the way, having it look like this is normal, that'll make sure every time uh, your pistons get pushed, it's going to get you the max amount of sugar cane possible. So after you built your rows like this, then the only other extra thing you're going to need to do to duplicate this is just place all the hopper and chest stuff on the other side like this. Cover up those first two with your block of choice. I like to place an outline around the chest so it looks nicer. And then also make sure to place your water and place your sugar cane on the other side. And that is how you make your row. And like I've done here, if you want, you can just place glass all around this. I'm going to also show you where to place the torches real quick. I also put a hole right here so that you can expand it upwards using really the same design, just minus the chest stuff. So you want to place a torch here, two here, and then one over here. And that should evenly light it up. Alright, that's the automatic sure came from tutorial if you like this tutorial make sure to leave a like and subscribe to see more videos like this if you want to ask me a question you can do so in the comments or message me on twitter at g3m gaming i'm gonna have a playlist up in the cards right now to all my other tutorials and i will see you all in another video